Hello and happy Friday. Welcome. I am Meredith and I'm here with our message for the 16th of August, 2024. I did record a reading yesterday and uh, it never uploaded. It was left kind of hanging in a mysterious queue on YouTube. It hung the whole day. Uh, so I deleted it. I started over, deleted the upload that is, started over in same result. So Yesterday's message was not meant to hit YouTube. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we've got the sun in Leo. The moon is in Capricorn. And then we have our amazing retrogrades going on. How are you making the most of them? What's going on in review and reflection? What are you recycling? Let's find out. Uh, energy atmosphere of the day. What's on offer to us? Our first card is... Sweet. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Wow. Fiery passion. It's rising. Uh, I've witnessed a bunch of this with myself and with others too. Uh, this is obviously a new beginning and a fresh start when you see an ace. And aces also neutralize challenging cards nearby. And the energy I feel here when I look at the Ace of Wands today is... Passions are running high. So when we have uh, a really strong, super firm foundation underneath our feet, we're committed to our own heart-mind coherence. And this is an energy that at times can't really be swayed, right? You can't be talked out of your passion. What's true and right and wonderful for you. It's not something for you to water down under the influence of someone else's opinion. That's what I'm feeling here. So this, this Ace of Wands is a powerful kickoff to this reading. And in this unique atmosphere where communication can become entangled through Mercury and retrograde, the way we express ourselves or the way others express themselves, uh, can challenge the stability of one's foundation. Though the moment we recognize that, the moment we feel that, is a moment to dive deeper in, to expand even deeper into our heart-mind awareness. And I, I, had the, I had the privilege of seeing a video on Instagram, and this gentleman was speaking about you know, the mind chatter and how it overtakes and how it's so full of programming, lots of shoulds and lots of questions that can be really undermining. So when you find yourself there and you recognize that you are in that tape loop again, just pause for a moment and put your hands on your heart. Close your eyes. Take a nice big deep belly breath and get reconnected to you and reconnected to the authenticity of your passion. Outside influences are always going to be there. And it's our self-responsibility to react or to respond in keeping with our heart, not our ego. So react is often ego. So check that for yourself. I've had to uh, keep my attention on this steadily for, for many days. And I've actually grown a little weary of it at times. Though, the challenge is here for a reason. So that we can further stabilize our foundation in our authenticity and in our truth. Beautiful, right? Let's see what's next. Six of Wands, victory and success belongs to us. Wow. I love this. You know, it's a homecoming. <laughs> homecoming to one's own heart space. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Get in your heart space and stay there. And when you drift, validate whatever the ego's dishing up. Though don't linger. Validate lovingly. And allow for the divine flow. You know, it's gonna... It's gonna undulate for us, right? Kind of like this. The dips are the moments where the ego rises out of that old programming. Right there is your opportunity to wave your 
Ace of Wands, bring the fire, bring the passion, bring the love, bring the creativity, and bring the transparency of your soulful presence to that moment. And ride the wave of homecoming to one's own heart space. Ride the wave of victory and success in shedding an old skin. Let's see what's next. Well, there you go. There's the strength card. The Leo card. Beautiful energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a fire fire sign card. So uh, specifically Leo though. And I feel the energy of the lion's gate on this card here. Anticipate that all of the soulful presence journey endeavors and adventures you are taking now are rippling for a period of experience. There's no time limit on this. So again, ride this wave of your heart space and any blip on the rate on your radar that feels unlike that, pause peacefully with it. Allow it to be and allow it to flow away. What's accompanying the strength card? Fantastic. Yes, judgment. I love judgment in this particular deck because we have this great dragon breathing fire and I feel that that fire is so transformative to everything that we're that's being resurrected by the retrogrades and brought out into the light so that we can purge it in a pure a purification fire of our soulful presence and that's what I sense is here and we have to have the strength to be vulnerable enough to support that soulful activity uh, through our human vessel there's a whole lot of emotion. There's a whole lot of sensation. All of our senses fire. Our physical ones, our spiritual senses as well. Everything fires at once and it gets really intense. And it's meant to be intense for a purpose so that, again, we reconfirm for ourselves. See, there's the R-E again. Re. Reflect. Review. Retrograde. <laughs> Reassess even here on judgment. Resurrect these energies so that they can be pur purged and purified and you come out the other side strengthened. That's what's happening. Great transformation taking place in the now. Beautiful. More wands here. Four of wands now. Happiest card in the minor arcana and also a very stable foundation for us to celebrate our life experience upon. So, Again, lean deeper into your heart space. Anytime you're noticing the chatter of the mind rise up and begin to overtake, pause in that moment. Get into your heart-mind coherence. Feel yourself at home within your heart space presence and validate whatever's circling on the vulture thought and let it go. Because that's all that's happening is it's attempting to depart your energy field. So open a door for it. <laughs> Next card. Whoa, look at that. Bookends of aces here in the reading. So between the ace of wands and now the ace of cups, you have all of this energy taking place. Success, victory, happiness, celebration, stable foundation, purification, strengthening. Lovingly, peacefully allowing yourself to be vulnerable because you've created this foundation to stand upon and be just that, your pure, raw, authentic self. And there's nothing but celebration in that kind of energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. How is the universe supporting us behind the scenes? Our first card is the Seven of Pentacles. This is all about our manifestation. This is bounty on the vine. This is how heaven touches earth within us. We're bringing miracles to life on our foundation. And this card is a confirmation of that. And sometimes the process looks and feels uncomfortable, which was part of yesterday's message that unfortunately wasn't able to upload. And the title I put on that video was, it's okay to be uncomfortable because you're making way for something brand new, more expansive, more celebratory, right? You gotta make room for it so some old stuff has to go. And we've been really busy in the retrograde energy doing all of that work. 
and some moments are more beautiful than others. <laughs> it's all fantastic though. Next. Wow, three aces in this reading so far. Here's the ace of pentacles. Great love, doorways of opportunity. You've opened a door of opportunity for yourself because you stood up here in your strength and your vulnerability and decided any energy that would cling, drag, withhold, separate has got to go, right? And it creates all kinds of fresh experience for us, doesn't it? We start to think differently. We take different actions. What's wrong with doing something different? Absolutely nothing. Give it a try. It's all right. You fall flat on your face with it. Maybe it's not meant for you, though you tried and now you know, which is excellent every time. Six of Swords, moving into calmer waters, into a much more favorable life experience. It's exactly what we're on about. It's all that we're uh, in creation with at this time because we're creating love, bliss, joy, and happiness on overflow in that ace. And we're celebrating passionately, creatively, expansively in this ace of wands over here. And then the ace of pentacles kind of keeps it all grounded while providing more and more fresh experience. And we keep sailing through these doorways of opportunity in a very abundant way. Next. Three of Cups. I just said it. There's the celebration card. This is a card of really celebrating one's life. The characters from Strength, Justice, and Temperance typ typically appear on this card. And that's some seriously powerful energy. So get out there and dance in the rain, folks. <laughs> Sing out of town, out of tune, really loud. <laughs> Have fun. Oh my goodness. And there's the sun. The four of wands and the sun showing in this reading. The sun being the happiest card in tarot and of the major arcana. This is brilliant clarity. This is uh, joy, expression, self-expression. Uh, it's playfulness. It's happiness. It's more abundance on overflow. This is a great amplification between the sun and the ace of cups. So there's a great amount of beauty for you to contemplate, interact with, for all that you've been creating with the divine in your divine matrix as you separate from false matrix, programming, storytelling, and such. The stories are interesting because they're all about how they shaped you. It's okay to look at the greater challenges and or the hardships that you've experienced because those challenges and or temporary hardships have shaped you in the fire of your own creation. So celebrate the heck out of that. It's worthy. We have metamorphosis showing up. This is us changing. This is our divine alchemy that's taking place. We're taking a whole new shape, a whole new form within our own heart space. And this is quite the process, right? Think about it. What else have we got here? Three of Pentacles. Wow. Star. Lovers. Oh, look, here's Temperance. <laughs> All right, I'll stop there. You get the idea, though. You're bringing your dream to life on your foundation, and it has taken quite a great metamorphosis. You've had to harmonize and unify within your divine feminine, divine masculine, as you have simultaneously moved deeper into the divine matrix from the false matrix. It's been a big deal. You've had to remake yourself again, metamorphosis over here. And how have you done that? You've done that by engaging the pure raw love that you are, Ace of Cups, and combined it with the pure raw fire of passion and creativity in the Ace of Wands so that you could ground it, Ace of Pentacles, in the here and the now to create an, ex an ascension experience on this plane of existence. That's a tall order, and congratulations to you for doing it. Angel Answers... Questions, queries, confirmations, messages from your own guides, angels, ancestors. Coming from this deck. First card. For real. 
again with this one. Listen to your intuition. How many more times can we hear that? It's going to lead you to just this kind of journey. And every time you don't listen to your intuition is yet another opportunity for you to witness just how strong it is and how present it is. We have the improving health card showing up again. This is your overall well-being, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Yeah, you're getting, you're going through an upgrade. We are all going through an upgrade of energy and it is stirring the pot. It is really stirring the pot. I don't know if you've all noticed uh, communication, interactions with others are touchy at this, at this particular time. Um, there's a lot of reactivity out there in the world. There's very little room for uh, the flexibility of others to take in some of what we have to say. Those of us who are dedicated to our spiritual, soulful journey, right? When we speak the truth, we get an awful lot of reaction out there in the world. And you've got to be one heck of a confident, soulful presence in the moment to withstand the fire of someone else's reaction. Yes, the sweet, simple yes that I feel is connected so to the high priestess in tarot. And that's the yes answering you when you get the intuitive message. So listening to your intuition and you ask, is that so? Is that really so? Yes, it's that steady, consistent whisper. And your improving health and or improving well-being is also an improvement to your ability to Allow yourself to be guided by your soulful awareness. That's huge. Then we have success, emphatic success. One more. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't stop now. Don't quit. You are closer than you realize to something incredibly fantastic that you have been uh, bringing to life on your foundation for quite a long period of your life experience. Angels and ancestors, how is our soulful presence informing our waking consciousness? Ooh. All right, we have two of them. We have the eagle. See from a higher perspective. Excellent advice here, especially if you get engaged by something that's going on in your environment. Ask yourself, why? Why do I have a reaction to that? How can I look at this from a different perspective, from a higher perspective? How does my soulful presence witness this? That'll turn down the dial on reaction. It'll turn down the dial in a big way with the ego chatter. <laughs> Again, get back into your heart space. And then we have guardian angel. You are not alone. Your guides, your angels, your ancestors are with you. Lean into that energy. Trust that for yourself. Strengthen yourself in those moments where you're in wonderment and maybe even a little bit of awe because you're recognizing <clears throat> a less than favorable energy. That's all, It's cool. That's good. Thank it for showing up. And then you get to show at the door. How lovely is that? Let your guides, angels, ancestors assist you with it. All right, everyone. Happy, happy Friday. Peace, love, joy on overflow to you. How are you doing in this journey? Share it in the comments. Let us know. Peace. Namaste.